Edward the Martyr was the King of England, after his father Edgar the Peaceful died, leaving behind a dispute about his successor. He had not been chosen by his father as his rightful heir to the throne, and this put both him and his brother Ethelred the Unready in contention. Edward despite being the elder son of King Edgar the Peaceful, was not recognized as the legitimate son. This was due to Edgar remarried, and his new wife Aelthrith became queen. Edgar was chosen as king, and was crowned by his main clerical supporters, the Archbishop Dunstan of Canterbury and Oswald of York. He was a teenager when he became the king. He was too young to handle the complexities of ruling a kingdom, and was an ill-tempered ruler who made his workers fear for him. After Edgar's death, the anti-monastic reaction have started, and some of the clerics who had previously dismissed by Edgar returned, and took the places of the current clerics. The majority of the leases and loans which had been granted by King Edgar were rewritten by the clerics, during the reign of King Edward. In 978, while visiting his brother Ethelred at Corfe Castle, he was stabbed in the back, waiting for his entry into the castle on the horse. Edward's horse dragged his body into the dark. The reasons behind his murder couldn't be ascertained for sure. Many believed it was his stepmother who had plotted the murder, so her son could be the king. Edward's body was put to rest at Wareham, his stepbrother Ethelred, decided to rebury his remains with a lavish public ceremony at the Shaftesbury Abbey. King Edward was given the title of Edward the Martyr, who lost his life because of others' greed. On the anniversary of his mortal demise, Edward Feast Day is celebrated.